Here at eFix, we love smart technology, and it is definitely going from strength to strength right now, and we expect that to continue. However, we do understand that it can be a bit daunting to get started with. Well, the good news is, is that you don't need to worry about being outsmarted by your tech, because there are different levels of smart. We like to think of it as smart, smarter, and smartest. In this video, we're going to look at a piece of kit from the smart end of the market. Now this is the Hamilton Air wireless switching system and it serves as an excellent introduction to the smart home market because it's a very simple thing to install and set up. This product has been designed to be installed outside for use with outside lights and other circuits and as such has an IP rating of IP56. Now I've got this set up on the fence here to show the principle of how it works. So it's just a matter of bringing a supply to this box and it connects up inside here like so. There's also a nice rugged earth bar there to terminate my CPCs into. Then each of these connections can supply a separate load or set of loads. Now down here you've got four connections that have these lovely simple sprung connections for easy termination. Each one of these connections represents a different channel and of course you can daisy chain loads to allow for more than one fitting per load. Each channel has a maximum loading of 1.25 kilowatts and the total loading must not exceed four kilowatts. Now I know what you're thinking, that maths doesn't add up. So let's say that channels one, two and three are fully loaded at 1.25 kilowatts. That means you've still got 250 watts to play with on channel four. Or alternatively, you could load up all four channels with a kilowatt each. These of course are just examples. You can divide the loads up however you need to, as long as you're working within those limits per channel and overall. And with the high efficiency of modern lighting, four kilowatts is a very generous power allowance. So let's think about applications you may have. So you may have a set of spike lights that are illuminating a tree like this. Then in the next channel, you may have a set of wall mounted lights for an area lighting like this. Now the great thing is that this device is not just about lighting. You can also use it to power other loads, such as perhaps a garden pond, as you can see here. And then maybe even a gate across your driveway. Another useful feature is that on the front of the control box, you've got some helpful indicator LEDs, which operate to show the channel has been illuminated, giving positive visual indication that the box is operating properly. Once it's all connected up, there's a couple of ways that this can be controlled that come with the wireless switching system. You've got the transmitter plate that can be mounted on a wall inside and offers wireless control, as you can see. So absolutely no wires required there. It's battery powered. The other option is the key fob relay transmitter that can go on your bunch of keys and be carried around with you. Now, I think this is a really appealing idea because it means that you can carry this on you. And as you drive up to the house or walk home from school, you can turn on the outside lights before you get home and it will be safe, secure and welcoming. And what's amazing is that the range on this is up to 250 meters in the open air. Now that's some distance for this to be working from and allows you to operate the lights from plenty of distance away. Now the plate style transmitter comes straight out of the box pre-programmed, connected and ready to operate. And you can easily program the additional fob, which we'll look at later on in the video. Now, as well as these control options, the Hamilton Air wireless switching system is also compatible with the Hamilton Smart Air switches, which massively increases your options for control. Now let's come back to the internal technicalities of this smart bit of kit, because it actually has another feature that is super helpful. In the middle of the PCB here, we can see there's a little row of dip switches. Now there's four of these, one for each channel, and it changes the function of the channel from on off to timed. So if I move this first dip switch so that it's in a mono stable mode, that basically means that channel one is now in timed mode. So when I trigger this channel now, it will turn on and remain on for a preset period of time. And you can change that period of time by twisting this little dial here. So the channel will remain switched on for up to four and a half minutes and each channel can be controlled independently. Let's have a look at programming the fob to the control box here. Now to go into programming mode, make sure you're safely isolated. Then you just need to pop this little jumper contact into this position here and then replace the lid and power up. The little programming LED should now be lit and ready to go. Then it's just a matter of pressing the buttons on the fob. Pressing button one automatically assigns buttons one and two to channels one and two. Pressing button three automatically assigns buttons three and four to channels three and four. Or you can just press button four and it will assign buttons one, two, three, and four to channels one, two, three, and four. Couldn't be simpler. You can then repeat this process on other devices that you want to control the unit up to 113 of them. 
Now once testing is completed, safely isolate, open the box up and move the jumper contact to this position to leave the control box in run mode. Make sure your dip switch is in the required position for on off or timed and you're all set. So as you can see, the fob is now fully programmed up and ready to go and both the wall plate and the fob can operate the control box. And remember, you can have a total of 113 of these control devices, so there's no fears on running out of control points. So from this presentation, we can see that the Hamilton Air wireless switching system is an excellent and hassle-free introduction to the world of smart technology. With its four-channel control, large loading capacity and simple programming, it just goes to show that you don't have to be a genius to be smart.